welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a back to school uni related video because a lot of you guys like seeing those kind of videos. Today I'm going to be showing you what is in my back to school bag. So, or my school bag, my uni bag, you know what I mean. So just all the bits and pieces which I always go to and have in my handbag throughout the year obviously gets really messy so bear in mind this is a really nice version you're seeing. Like. If you take it in a couple weeks time, there's going to be a whole lot of stuff, receipts, junk, everything in there, but this is like a really nice version, so I thought I'd show you this, let you guys know my essentials, the bits and pieces which I always rely on at university or school, whatever you're up to, and yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave a thumbs up, it would make my day, subscribe, check me out on Instagram and all that sort of stuff, and without further ado, I'll get on into showing you what's in my handbag. This is my bag for university. This bag is from Teddy Blake, which is a designer handbag place. This is my first designer handbag and I love it. It smells gorgeous because it's real leather. It's such good quality. These are made in Italy, I believe, and they are handmade, stitched, made for you. It's insane. So I got this funky one because I am in love with yellow. So yellow sides really tr attracted my attention and this is really heavy holding up um but this is what it looks like it's got just one big pocket in the middle and that is it it's just a very big standard tote bag so i'm just gonna kind of pick the stuff out show you what i got so first of all usually i start off university and i only use notepad and pen and I use my iPad to bring up lecture sites. Later on in the day, I start bringing in my laptop. That's when I take, you know, like hardcore revision notes and stuff. But to begin with, we start off with my iPad here, which is the iPad mini something. I've had it for a couple years now. And then a one notepad, which I use to take my notes. There's probably stuff left over from last year, yeah. So, don't know if you can see that. But basically, just take my notes, annotate it with coloured pen, it's basically how I go about taking notes in lectures. I really like these kind of notebooks, like the campus notebooks from Oxford, because they're just really nice and structured and good quality paper. So that's like my two things I use in lectures, bring up the lecture slides because I'm a little bit blind and, you know, if the lecture goes too fast and I need to go back to the previous slide, reference that and check out what he was on about beforehand, you know, it's nice to have a copy of the slides up right in front of you for yourself. Then on to other stuff. It's all gonna be in a weird order. I always have an umbrella with me. It's not the most exciting, but it does always rain in Scotland and it's the worst thing to come out of a lecture and have to like run to the bus and just get drenched. So always have an umbrella, yeah. Next up, I have my new water bottle. I actually got gifted this from my internship um, job when I left, which was so lovely of them. This is a Chili's water bottle, it's in the white matte colour, so I'm very excited to take this to university with me now and use this to keep my water super chilled. So that is also always a go-to, always something I have in my bag is a water bottle and now I have a really pretty one. Then we have something which is very standard, I have my purse. This keeps obviously my money, my cards and my student card because to get into university I need my student card. Always a disaster when I forget that because then I can't get into any of the buildings and you have to like hang around and wait to jump in when someone else goes in. It's annoying. Next up we have, this is massive, this is not necessary, but I do always like to have some sort of spray with me. Could do with having a smaller one, but this one is really really nice and because it's plastic I don't have the fear of dropping it and it's smashing all over my bag. It's just plastic so you can totally just like you know, it can get bashed and bothered and it's all gonna be fine. So this one's from Victoria's Secret, is the Temptation Fragrance, just like a body spray. Use this every now and again to freshen my stuff up, especially after long days at the library. You know, you might feel and look disgusting, but at least you can smell nice. Next, we have another spray. Love myself some sprays. Along with the theme of being at university for a very, very long time, you know, at school you're in for a good length of time as well. We sometimes get a little bit sweaty, sometimes get a bit tired. Makeup can sometimes become, you know, just a little bit bike outside. In need of a bit of a refresh. So this is by The Body Shop. It's the Coco Cami Face Mist. You can use this over foundation, over makeup, sorry. And it just kind of like soothes, hydrates, makeup friendly, so it's all great. Just put this on. I like feeling, you know, nice and fresh. And it's like having a face wash, 
but not having to do the full full thing. Next, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, glasses. This is really an essential for me. Already mentioned that I don't have the best eyesight, so always have my glasses with me. My glasses are from Wolf. People ask me this. Wolf. Then I have my keys. That's what my keys look like. They have a bear and a key. Keys. Then for, oh, okay, yes. Then I have my portable charger. This is amazing because this charge holds like four charges. It's great because I can charge it at the start of the week and then not need to worry about it running out on me. I can have this like Monday to Friday if I need a boost on my phone. This one's also great because you don't need to bring a cable with you. So you just kind of like untuck. Oh, now I can't do it. You like untuck the bit here plug it into your phone so you don't need your wire with you it's all contained in this little green thing and this is from juice and it's very dirty because i've taken it traveling with me and all sorts so it's been well loved and well used then i also have rolling around the bottom i have a lip balm always something which i need the lips get really dry usually at the end of the year i end up with like five in my bag because i just keep adding more and buying more but always start off with a lip balm make sure you've got that to rescue yourself in winter as well you need that really handy then i've got my headphones these ones are iphone headphones yep Ugh. then also i have a plaster i always have a plaster just in case you know something happens and i should have oh yeah i do and also got a blistered plaster as well so these two can save the day if needed blister plasters as well are obviously really handy because that is my nightmare. I always get sore feet, I always get blisters, so I always need to carry some rescue plasters with me. Then we have, I think we're getting pretty much to the end now, then I have my pencil case because, as I've already mentioned, I take notes by hand and I gotta have my pens with me. So on the top, I'm just gonna take this out and show you quickly. So I have a bunch of highlighters here, which is great because, you know, you need to make sure you've got the important stuff popping out at you. Then I have um, like a Tipex pen, this is actually by Pentel, this is the micro correct pen. Then I've got my calculator, because I do like accounting and um, statistical stuff at university, but obviously if you're in high school and you do maths and whatnot, you'll need this as well. Then I have a ruler, this ruler actually got given to me by my parents when I went into primary one, my first year in school ever when I was four years old. And I've still got it with me on my last year of university. Still me proud. And then I also have a bunch of like black pens from a variety of places. Amsterdam. And then also have some Energel pens from Pentel. These are just coloured pens because, you know, I love to annotate and I love to use some colour in my work to try and get me inspired. And then, and then also I've just got my chewing gum because, you know, Chewing gum's a lifesaver. Always need like mints or chewing gum in your bag just to rescue yourself in case you have a really interesting lunch. That's my pencil case. It's actually a Ciate London makeup bag. Got it with the Chloe Morello palette. Do you ever remember, remember that? Yep. So all my stuff just goes in there. It's nice and slim so I can kind of just like slip it down the side of my handbag and it all just fits in lovely. So that is my bag. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you like my handbag as well. I'll leave a link down in the description to the handbag. Also, I believe I have a discount code for this site. So if you want to get yourself a really lovely handbag for going back to high school, university, whatever it might be, maybe a gift for, I don't know, like your birthday or your Christmas, then I will leave the discount code down in the description as well. Check it all out. And that is everything. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye guys!